Well, they got one uh, really early in the third, um, and for whatever reason, we, uh, you know, we were we got a little bit too much on our heels. But I thought that was all through the game. We had some puck luck. Really, uh, you know, we found a way to be up a few goals. Uh, they were still humming, though. We didn't do a, do a good enough job on the defensive side of the puck. Uh, spent way too much time in our own zone. Didn't close fast enough. And once we did get the puck uh, down in there, so we had a tough time uh, sustaining any pressure. It seemed like you had a tough time uh, getting out of the zone, too. Was that more just how, how effective they are with their forecheck and their, uh, their personnel, or was there other issues there? I don't, you know, you got to give them credit, too, right? They're the best, best team in the league for a reason. But at the same time, I thought we, uh, we didn't help ourselves uh, very much tonight. I thought we didn't skate uh, well enough. I didn't play quick enough on defense. Uh, didn't create enough stalls. Uh, and we didn't. You know, therefore, we didn't spend enough time on, on the offense. Yeah. See some momentum for themselves there. What changed in, in your mind as the game rolled on? You know, they're they're a good team. They're uh, they pushed. Obviously, their power play got them a few goals. Um, you know, and that's that's tough. And uh, when they got one right away there, uh, it was an even strength goal. But they got one and they started pushing. We got our heels a bit, and then power play gets another one. And uh, you know, it's it's you know they're a team that's. Uh, very dangerous offensively, and uh, can't give them, uh, you know, any any free chances or extra chances. And uh, um, yeah, it's frustrating for sure. It seemed like they just kept coming in waves, one wave after another. How how can you prevent that as it's going on, or are you helpless against it, or what would yeah. you thought in that area? We, uh, we wanted to be quicker in our zone, in our own zone. You know, uh, I thought, yeah, you know, a lot of times they they uh, they do a good job of cycling and and they do a good job of, of jumping in and uh, making it kind of a five man unit in their zone. And uh, you know, so we got to do a better job of, of creating stalls and. And outnumber, and because uh, you know, I thought uh, once they get moving around, they make it really tough, and uh, and they spend a lot of time in their zone. Justin, you talk about your goal. I know it's been a while since you scored, so I mean, just I know you're disappointed losing, but to finally, you know, get one in the net must feel fairly good. Yeah, it's. I mean, I always want to contribute for sure, but uh, you know, the most important thing here is, um, you know, coming out on the losing end, obviously, uh, again. Um, you know, we we just gotta. Uh, you know, it's it's tough giving up five goals too. Uh, it's gonna be tough to to win when you when you give up that many. So, like I said, you know, we gotta be better in our own zone. And um, you know, as as a penalty killer, we uh, we gotta be better as a unit. And uh, you know, can't. Uh, you know, can't give them those goals. How much momentum did you feel your team had when you scored the shorthanded goal at that point in the game? Uh, I think we were feeling pretty decent. Um, you know, we still hadn't played our best hockey at that point, but I thought uh, it gave us a little bit of energy. And just wasn't able to keep it. How did they take that from you? Um, I think we just kind of got a little sloppy. Um, started playing uh, not the best we could have. Um, and uh, they definitely smelled blood and took advantage of it, and they were able to capitalize. Two one-goal losses to this team in the past week. What do you take away from from these two games against them? Um, I mean, we just we got to be better. Um, I thought we were a little bit better today, um, but still, that's a really great hockey team. We can't be uh, giving them opportunities. We give them too many, and they uh, they score. Is that I mean something that stands out? Just that they have four lines that can score. I mean, you know, they just eat most opponents alive. Yeah, they're a really great hockey team, uh, and uh, they take advantage of a lot of opportunities they get. Uh, they score a lot of goals, and they got a good D and goal tank. So, you know, it's a tough team. Um, we knew we had to be great. We weren't good enough. Well, I thought it was a bit deceiving with the three nothing lead. I thought we had a three nothing lead, which is great. You're putting yourself in position to win, but it wasn't like we were dominating the game or anything like that. I thought, uh, uh, if anything, they started to carry the play at two nothing, um, uh, in, especially in the first there. I thought we got hemmed in our zone a bunch. We weren't giving up big time chances, but it was tons of zone time, tons of zone. so they were wearing us out. I thought in the second. We didn't spend as much time in our zone. I thought uh, we were able to score the third. So now you're up 3 nothing. You're in a good spot. Now we know this team can score, so you got to keep playing. Uh, we had a chance to make it 4 nothing a couple different times, and we didn't make it 4 nothing. And, and I know that sounds crazy, but that's just the reality when you play this group. Uh, so that was those were big moments. Um, 
they kept pushing, they kept pushing. It's 3-2, we get a power play. We have a real chance to make it 4-2, don't make it 4-2. Next thing you know, they score, then they score again. So now you're coming from behind. So I thought it was, like I said, I thought it was deceiving that we were up 3-0 in, in a sense of the uh, who was carrying the play. Um, we got to be better. Yeah, we gotta you gotta you gotta create stalls. Uh, you gotta win the puck and you gotta get the puck out. That's the number. So we gotta create. We had to create way more stalls. We 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 didn't create enough stalls. We chased the puck or chased them around a little bit, and then you get spinning like a top. Uh, you gotta play through bodies. You gotta create a stall. You gotta create turnovers. You gotta get the puck out of that. There's multiple times where you know we had a chance to get the puck out. We didn't get the puck out. You, if you if you don't get the puck out on the first try against them, you're gonna you're in trouble. Um, there's a reason why they have as many points as they have. They can make you look a little foolish that way. So you know I think our D zone overall has been uh, uh, pretty good here in the last bit. It wasn't great tonight. Their best players are elite and they, they're playing the right way. And, um, you know, in the end, I mean, to a large degree, they all played our best players and that's just the reality like when you go it's just you know part of it is you know we're a lot of our young or a lot of our best players right now are young and we're trying to and it's just learning lessons it's it's measuring sticks uh, we've had a couple chances to measure up against them and hopefully our, our guys that you know we want to become elite players ultimately we need you need on a team you need probably three elite players to have a chance to be a a, a real playoff team and you probably need you know they probably have five or six uh uh, I think Larks has emerged as becoming moving towards that elite type player. I think lots of the year, most of us in here could look at him, his game, and say that we need other guys to take steps towards that. And uh, these are great challenges for them. And, and uh, you know, tonight uh, we didn't do that.